Hi Sagittarius, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the 27th of April to the 3rd of May 2020. I hope you're well and safe and I hope you are, well, trying to enjoy, I hope you are enjoying your time uh, uh, at home, although it is sometimes frustrating, I know. Everybody is looking forward to the summer and going out and uh, everybody is wondering whether that will ever be the case. I think so. I think at the end of May we will see big changes. It will not be over yet, but I think there will be big changes. Welcome if you're new and I hope you will enjoy the readings and thank you very much for uh, popping in and I hope you will subscribe and hit the bell so you can choose or if you hit the bell and then you'll be notified when I go live or when new videos are loaded up. If you would like to have an extended reading then go below this video uh, in the description box you will find all the information or click on the little uh, circle here in the top corner and that will take you to the website. There you can see the reviews on for example the Archangel Metatron deck or on, in, uh, on a lot of other decks and also interviews with the author of the uh, Enchanted Dream Tarot and the House of Shadows, the Lenamon. Okay, and the Witches Siri. Uh, we're getting a lot of hits on that. A lot of people find it really interesting because we're not only talking about the Witches Oracle Oracle deck, but also about different types of therapy and things like that. Just go and have a look and see whether you enjoy it. It's with I'm doing an interview with a Dutch witch. Perhaps somebody in America that is a witch would like to learn more about the Dutch witches because there's different cultures, different uh, different witches and um, we've learned that from our Dutch witch. You've got witches that work alone or work in groups or covens so go and have a look. And welcome to my Cyber Angels. Um, thank you very much for your loyalty and support. You make this channel extra without your support and without your reactions it wouldn't be such a special channel because when we go live new viewers um, we do not only uh, uh, get free cards or I don't only uh, give away free cards but there is also a possibility to ask a question and I will answer that um, after uh, a donation with super chat or super stickers and you'll get a reading with three cards and an oracle card now we're going to start the reading with your first card for the week. Candle. You will be shown the way. So there is a light at the end of the tunnel, or a light on your path. So you will be shown the way. Then you have the Knight of Swords. You might be receiving news. This news could come through cyber and this means telephone, email or text message and that's the first card. You might also meet a Gemini, a Libra or an Aquarian Sagittarius. I love this card. I love the beautiful weeping willow. As above, so below. Heaven and earth. Whatever happens on earth will also happen below. Whatever happens in heaven will also happen on earth. Every, in other words, everything is connected. And you've got number 41. So you might be feeling out of balance, out of sort. So try to balance. You're trying to balance. Look at this. This just looks like the scale. It's like it's balanced like this. But because it's a tree, it also speaks to me of space healing. Um, and it's like a weeping willow or like a, uh, a Chinese Chinese cherry tree and with that pink blossom it's awesome it's springtime so come alive 
and it's all as above so below that is also what the witches usually say and a lot of readers let it be so as it as it should be in the midweek you've got the table hard work ahead there is some tough uh, work coming on your path okay you might have all been there already or you might be there now as you've got the nine of wands the nine of wands that uh, those are the ones on the rocks like the light beacons so you can see that You've been through the wars, you're going through tough times, and there's an end coming to tough times, okay? There is better times ahead of you, so don't give up this late in the stage, because the new beginning is going to come very, very quickly. Look at this, it could be a new passion, could be love for life, could be a new love. Love for life okay it could be also a love for life I think you've got number 25 so there's a lot of messages coming in that's why I was very quiet there could be a new love that could be uh, not only if you're partnered up this could be a new love this could be a baby this could be a pet there could be a new passion a new hobby coming into your life that you're going to start after this difficult period because now you're going to get time to do something with your passion and you've got 25 so that is 7 it's a num new lucky number okay 2 and 5 is 7 not unexcess uh, you've got a not unsuccessful plan I don't think so though it might be uh, unsuccessful uh, in the transformation st uh, uh, time because you are in a transformational time you're getting news so this might be news yes you've got the job but but you can only start after the coronavirus so this is a transformation time so get ready and you've got the three of ones and the three of ones means that you see your plans coming to fruition your plans are coming to fruition so this is a bit contradictory contradictory so unsuccessful plan means that your plans might be on hold a little bit because of the things that are happening now take this time out to heal okay heal as the next card is healing healing make sure that you contemplate meditate and evaluate the situation that you're in and how you and learn from the situation what you don't want anymore so that you can use it to your advantage in the new beginning again a number seven and it's lying next this is 43 is four and three seven two and five or seven it's lying next to each other and this has been happening with nearly every reading that there are double numbers so the angels are and the divine are with you that was on Friday now at the weekend we've got the mule someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change is that you Sagittarius or is that somebody around you somebody's stubborn and somebody's unwilling to change or be flexible and adaptable you have to grow with whatever is happening Sagittarius you have to grow with whatever is happening so if it is you then learn to adjust learn to adjust like the um, Queen of Pentacles the Queen of Pentacles um, that is Virgo so you might be a, a might have a Virgo around you that is extremely stubborn and don't and doesn't want to adapt or be flexible to things changing but um, if it is you 
uh, because you can be a stubborn little thing uh, because like the Queen of Fire she goes f and the King she goes for what they go for what they want and you cannot draw you away uh, with wild horses from your ideas you go after what you want but the Queen of Pentacles she's a gentle soul she's like a mother nurturing caring because she also represents Mother Earth and Mother Earth stands for fertility ah and that means also if you don't want to get pregnant then take precautions you might find out that you're pregnant or you hear you might hear of a birth from a friend or a, a, a family a member or a colleague but it could also mean a birth of a new project okay like your, your passion boom 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 so that could be a new job that could be a hobby anything something that's durable and long term and the Queen also stands for nurturing she's got green fingers so whatever she touches it will turn out positive because she'll nurture it she'll grow it and, um, and she'll nurture it to grow and blossom so that you can pluck the harvest at the end of the journey then you have the indigo that's the color indigo and I think this is a beautiful card it says more to me mystery and mastery of like like I said learn from the past so you can take what is of use to you into the future so it doesn't happen to you again and let the old go and indigo means mystery and mastery of life that by learning and falling down and dusting standing up and dusting yourself off and carrying on that is how you master life but this card also means to me indigo child you see a young person here it looks more like a child than a lady you might yourself might be an indigo child and there is a star here so perhaps you are wishing for something a sign or something you might be an indigo child an indigo child is a child of the new age like the rainbow children indigo children uh, what was new age children there was also another one uh, there was another one I forgot what it was there were three types of new age children the rainbow children the Ingo indigo children and I forgot the other one but you've got 21 and that turns out to be a 3 or adds up to a 3 so that's creativity okay so you might be creative uh, next weekend awesome the overall energy is a new beginning so take that leap of faith okay you've learned a lot and you've come so far so be grateful take that leap of faith and uh, from the Archangel Metatron safety strength and power you certainly have power and you have the strength to carry on the last uh, yards of this phase the new beginning is just around the corner so don't give up and remember always uh, remember your safety so take precautions red is also the root chakra ground yourself at all times make sure that you take time out for yourself and it's card 55 so that is a double number again the angels have your back and like I said there is a new beginning and the card underneath this card is dimensional gateway the angels are with you this is an this could be an invitation for a job a party or anything like that okay so I think there is m and like you've got the two nights here you might get more than one message you might have to make a choice are you going to a party or are you going to this, this new job at this firm or another firm what are you going to do so I think this is a very phew, busy busy week for you 
it is basically um, what shall be shall be that is what I'm getting to hear as well um, there will be um, choices that you will um, have to make and you will be shown the way um, this could be the angels this could be the divine and this could be through a dream this could be through a new idea or your own intuition your gut feeling saying go 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 listen to it 99.9% .9 of the time your gut feeling is right so don't doubt it it will take hard work to get where you want to go because you are I am basically a direct idealistic person and sometimes you uh, set your standards too high for yourself so ease up a bit okay ease up a bit um, <coughs> take time out take rest uh, otherwise you'll get knotted up okay you'll get knotted up and your plans won't come to fruition so take it slow but steady like the Queen of Pentacles. She knows it takes time to nurture and step for step you can't run before you can walk. That's also what I'm hearing. So abide your time. When the time is right, when something comes to fruition, you'll get a big harvest. Okay. And let your inner child, your new age child, come out to play you are a beautiful individual just remember that everybody is unique and that's how we should look at each other as unique persons individuals okay i hope you've enjoyed this reading saji and take care big hugs and stay safe and thanks for sharing and liking the videos and i hope to see you in the live sessions ciao ciao